Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and we are doing the community event for this weekend. So we are at the Space Anomaly right here. Let's go over and accept the the weekend event. Now, I've heard this one's actually pretty hard, so let's see what it is, actually, the Nexus. So, oh, we get salvage data. I'll take that one, too. Vanishing point, we have three hours. And just for reference... I am playing Sunday at 4.30 p.m. Uh, mountain time, so that means 8 p.m. Mountain, which would be 7 p.m. Pacific and 10 p.m. Eastern time. That's when these events stop. That's what the timer is set to, Sunday evening. So just for your reference right there, everyone. So I was always trying to nail down what time it is, so... 10 p.m. Eastern, that's when it stops. So let's hit it! And actually, before we get into it, I'm gonna actually show you guys a really cool trick that I use now. And it's taken me this long to realize I could do this, because uh, I'm a little bit slow. But hopefully, it'll help you guys out as well. So I'm right here next to the space station. Let's hit that space station real fast. Because we need to buy some maps, okay? Because maps are going to help you out, definitely help you out of this first part. What the world? It just kicked me out? Alright, let's get back in there. Come on. There we go. Right through the wall. Love it. Now, if you ever want to find items on a planet, you can use your signal booster... But that's very limited. It can only show you a couple things from your signal booster. What you really want to do, I think it can only show you drop pods as of right now. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Comment down below and let me know exactly what they can use on your signal booster. But if you're looking for crashed ships or manufacturing facilities, come over here to the cartographer. Now we're going to talk to the cartographer. And I already have navigational data on me. I've already found a lot of navigational data. So let's go to exchange maps. And this will take navigational data and he'll give you maps in exchange. But the best part about it is now you can choose which maps you want. Look at that. You can pick whichever one you want. So if I just wanted one like ancient art yeah, ancient artifact site, that's what we're looking for because they will give you knowledge stones. So let's buy one of those. I think I already have one. So actually let's buy four so I can make an even five. Yeah, boom. There you go. And so I actually, I have a few uh, navigational datas in my inventory. Let's see how much I have. I believe if I just bought four, it should be 36. Oh, look, it turns red when you get to the point where you can't buy them anymore. So I believe 36 is what we're going to be. Let's see. Yep, 36. There you go. See, so I have 36 navigational data in my inventory. So if I try to buy 37, it says sorry. But I could buy different ones. Like I can I don't have to only buy planetary charts. I could buy whatever you want. Or I shouldn't say planetary charts. An alien artifact chart. I can buy a commercial cartography, emergency, a secret cart cartographic data, all that stuff. So definitely do that. If you're looking for the knowledge stones, I would use a planetary an, an alien artifact planetary chart. Because an alien artifact will have knowledge stones all around it. And I'll show you guys that in just a second. Because it's going to be awesome. So, we have to get over to that moon. Or is that a planet? Oh man, that's a long ways away. So I'll see you when we get there. Alien monolith detected. I'll take an alien monolith. Alien monoliths are awesome. You can use them to find portals. So let's hit this alien monolith. 30 seconds. Let's go. And here's our alien monolith right here. And this is the reason why you want to have an alien artifact chart on you. Because look at that. Oh, come on. Because look at this once we get over here. There are three knowledge stones right here. So look at that. Done, son. Right immediately done. 
Will I hit this one? Oh, come on. The carvings on the stone blur before my eyes, distant and cloudy, as though viewed through a thick pane of glass. The glassy membrane ripples as my hand passes through it. The stone sings, and suddenly I find I can read the partial glyph sequence. That's one. And then right over here is our number two. This knowledge stone appears to be rapidly shifting between two positions. There we go. Done. Touch it. With this thought, I concentrate on a single iteration of the stone and manage to make out a sequence of glyphs. And then we're going to have number three right over here. Look at that. Boom. This knowledge stone appears to be rapidly shifting between two positions again. Wow. It's weird that they haven't added any more uh, flavored text to that. Because it seems to be that there's about five of them that you can get. And they're always either they double up or you only get the same two or three. All right. So the portal's right over there, 24 minutes away. So if I get in my starship, it'll be even less than that. Yep, we're about to... Uh, what? Okay, yeah, 25 seconds. Okay. I could deal with that. So we've arrived at the portal. Let's put those glyphs in and see what the community planet looks like. Yeah. So let's do this. As I recall the glyphic coordinates I have recovered, one planetary signal pierces through the cacophony. The damaged world beckons and cries out. Let's go see what this planet looks like. Oh wow, this is my kind of planet. Look, it's like a bluish purple. I'll take it and look at it. There's a whole bunch of uh, bases. This is part of the reason why I wanted to wait because I wanted to see what everyone would build on these planets. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, return to the planet. I was sitting there forever. Why can't you uh, just let me pick him up then? Come on. Thank you. That's all I had to do, huh? Now let's go see these, uh... Wow, look at that. Built a cool, like, little, uh... Almost like a farm. With little landy pads on them. I like it. Get that. That's pretty cool. So, oh. Let's see... What is at the anomalous disturbance? Oh man, that's a long ways away. We're gonna have to go in the atmosphere, go a little faster than that. Okay, and let's try it again. Milk, milk boy's base. Oh, right next to the like ocean or the sea, I guess. It's not that big. Maybe a lake. No, I would say that's a sea. Oh, look at that. That is a cool looking base. We're gonna land on this one. Gek Burger. Oh, it's a, it's a restaurant. They built a restaurant over here. I love it. Let's see what's inside Gek Burger. Rate us on Yelp. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. My voice is kind of going. Why isn't my torch on? I like that. Expanding cube gadget. It should explode? Yeah. I like it. A portable refinery. There's a uh, nutrient processor over there. What's down there? Rate us on Yelp. <laughs> I love it. Well, let's go see what pro what uh, material they need this week for the uh, for the mission. Oh, way down here! Oh, nice! There's a cool fighter right here. 
I love that. They actually gave us a fighter. It's a B class, but if you guys, this is free, so you can pick it up if you have the room. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually use this thing because I have the room. Where am I? Is it the same place? The reality. S what happened to Artemis? The static. Please, can anyone? Whoa! Wait a minute. That's a thing. Wait a minute. We can't actually pick that up. Whoa! That's different. Well, let's see, actually, what's going on here. The damaged vessel hisses and flares. This static energy has an unnatural quality. It is more than the sparking of a broken engine. Though there is no one here, a voice cries out, muffled and distant. Where I am... Is it the same place? The reality... Signet? What happened to Artemis? This static. Please, can anyone? The static crackles its own demand. The planet is injured, destabilized. A specific material found locally should serve to patch it. Okay, so we need sac venom. Awesome. I wonder if we get this fighter once we've uh, fixed it. Or once we've helped the, uh, the thing. Alright, so sodium deposit. There's so storm crystals all over the place because this is an extreme planet. Armored clam. That's not where we get anything from. Oh man, okay, this might be a, a little bit of a walk. Oh, sack venom over there. Sack venom. Okay, so actually, that's not that bad. So let's actually see if I can get up there with my, my jetpack. We're about to find out. Oh yeah, no problem. Where'd the other sack venom go? I thought I saw one up here, no? Oh. Okay, I guess we're, we didn't see anything really. So just the one, okay. Got it. And hey, if you're here collecting all the sack venom, pick up these storm crystals as well. These storm crystals you can use for a lot, or you can just sell them if you want to. Oh, let's recharge my uh, protection. And we need 16 of these. Okay, we have two. Whoop, don't walk into them though. They'll they'll mess you up. I thought they would disappear, but I guess not. They just sit here. Okay. That's fine. I'm making the uh, sentinels angry. Is there more sack venom over here. So, oh, subterranean relic. Uh, let's take a walk a little bit. That way the sentinels cool cool down a little bit. Oh, let's get these um, storm crystals over here. Whoa, we! I think I found the mother load, you guys. Look at this. Look at all these sack venoms over here. Let's pick up all these. I think I found all of the rest I needed. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yeah, holy cow. Eight. Nine. Ten. I'm done. I got all the sack venom I need. That is crazy. All right. That had way more than I needed. That's cool. So let's get out of here. Before I get killed by the sentinels. Woo. Woo. Gonna slowly. Oh, I probably can make it with just one jetpack stream. Look at that. That wasn't even that far away. I definitely want to use this thing. I want that fighter. So let's do it. Let's turn it in. Ah, uh, for the materials. Reaching out my hand, allowing my mind to float through the static, I search for the origin of the strange energy. Then suddenly, I feel it, repelling me like a magnetic force. I can feel nothing else. With effort, I offer the materials towards the site. There is a deafening crack, and the offering blinks out of existence. Then silence. This site is peaceful once more. Done. Please tell me I can pick up this, uh... Amazing. Oh, look at that. I have not been searching for extreme worlds, as you can tell. Please tell me I can pick up this amazing fighter.
Where am I? The static? Please, get, uh, you can't get the fighter. No! I want it though, it looks really cool. Well, another time perhaps. All right, so now it's time to go back to the portal. So let's call in our buddy. Yeah, look at that thing land. Boom, always crash lands. Great. So let's go home. Now we can turn this uh, thing in and then get the Quicksilver rewards. Yeah. Made it back home. So let's turn this baby in. And I believe we're also going to get some fireworks as well. So that is always fun. Might have to set them off as a celebration. It didn't even take us that long. Because usually it takes me a long time because I have to find the three knowledge stones. And so that was like no time at all. And then the, uh, the sack venom was actually pretty fast to find as well. So this was actually a pretty easy week this week. Yeah, 1,200. Got my salvage data. Oh yeah, we didn't get fireworks, we got salvage data. Sorry, that was on earlier when I when I popped on. We got salvage data. Do we have enough? Oh, we have 3,700 Quicksilver. So, should be enough, Thank of, thankfully. That's gonna create exotic items from Quicksilver. And there it is. Eos vis Visage. I like his cool, like, metal goatee. <laughs> so let's go see what Eos looks like. And I didn't even get to look at the last one because we didn't have the... the actual uh, community research done by the time I recorded my thing. That's, also, that's another reason why I waited till Sunday. Let's go ahead. Oh, no, wait. Oh, there he is, okay. So they're not in order, really. Wow, okay, I wonder why they're changing the order up. So that was the other the head we got. Oh, God, that looks weird. Previous, okay, look at that. He has, like, a metal goatee. I love it. Oh, and metal teeth? Uh, they're really not that, there's just a size difference. There's no real, like, difference between them, just other than size. Okay. I was hoping maybe there'd be, like, different, like, metallic, like, a nose ring or something like that. But nope. It's all basically the same. Oh, wait. Let's do this. Markings? It looks like a shark, doesn't he? He looks like a shark to me. Yeah, it looks like a shark to me. Oh, you can change the metal. Okay, I like that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, there you go. That's the new reward for this week. Yes, we're gonna sh save the changes. Cause he looks pretty awesome. He looks like a, he, he looks like a shark. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did. Hit that like button for me, and if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time, and I will see you guys next time.